The Lynx light rail is back up and running tonight for the first time in about two weeks. And Tropical Storm Michael bringing down a tree on top of the rail's power system, forcing a big stretch of the blue line to close for repairs. The service interruption caused a travel nightmare for thousands who rely on the light rail to get around. NBC Charlotte's Rachel Lumberg is at the Scaly Bark Station with the latest. Well, riders are more than relieved to be able to catch the light rail here at the Scaly Bark Station into Uptown instead of waiting for one of the cat's buses as the alternate that was in place. It was pretty um, hectic. For 11 days, Blue Line riders waited to get on a shuttle bus instead of the train. Caught the bus in, and then after that, I just decided to just drive into work and just pay for Uptown parking. Adding that finding parking in Uptown was easier than following the system cats had in place. I had to drop my son to the school and then figure out whether bus and train is running, not then go, go to the Uptown, park my car, wherever I find the convenient location. More than like 30 minute wait times and the lines were long and the buses were you know, like coming consistently. Tropical Storm Michael, the reason for this inconvenience damaged the power system from the New Bern Station to 36th Street, more than a mile stretch needing repairs to poles and overhead wiring. It was definitely a huge inconvenience. And for the transit system as well, damages estimating upwards of $1.2 million. Hopefully everything goes well. On Saturday, Lynx did test the route with the train before giving the all clear. I guess it's running fine now, and I'm kind of glad. Crews actually finished all of these repairs three days early, but we'll take it. All clear here at the Blue Line, as well as the City Lynx streetcar service is returning back to normal operations today as well. Reporting at the Scaly Bark Station, I'm Rachel Lundberg, NBC Charlotte. What a huge inconvenience. Thank you, Rachel.